Hundreds of firefighters battling four major fires in our region tonight from the ground and from the air as anxious homeowners watch and worry and others feel the pain of losing their homes to the flames. It takes a team of experts from different fields to fight wildfires like these, including meteorologists from the National Weather Service who respond directly to these fires and advise those managing them about where to go next. Our own in-house expert is watching these fire conditions as well. And, uh, 24 hours of wind has really been harmful. Well, it is dying down. We are staying cool for the next 24 hours, so things are improving. Your forecast first for tonight. Breezy conditions this evening, but those winds will be dying down. In fact, we're already seeing the gustier winds diminish. Partly cloudy and smoky, 52 for an overnight low. For tomorrow, a high of 77. Below average, partly cloudy. That smoke lingering around. Winds out of the west at 5 to 10 miles per hour. Today, we've been experiencing wind gusts in excess of 25 miles per hour. Hour. So this should be a big help. Our high today, 74, 82 is average. Yesterday, our high was 90. So that shows you how powerful the cold front is that moved through the region, picking up our winds and really dropping our temperatures. 74 and partly cloudy right now in Spokane. Wind sustained out of the west at 13 miles per hour, but we have starting to see those gusts diminish already. Dew point only 27, giving us a relative humidity of 17%. So we are certainly still dealing with dry conditions. 72 right now in Coeur d'Alene. We have an area of low pressure right here over the prairie provinces of Canada. It is slowly moving to the east. It is this system in conjunction with an area of high pressure to our west that set up that pressure gradient for the strong winds. That is lessening. We are going to see high pressure nosing back in behind this system. We will see a wind shift late Tuesday and into Wednesday where our winds will be coming more out of the northeast. Right now, at least the transport winds that carry our smoke coming from the northwest. Tonight's lows will be down in the 40s and 50s. Highs tomorrow in the 70s in most locations. A few 80s on the map, but a great break in terms of the heat for firefighters and we stay with below average temperatures through Wednesday tomorrow another smoky day then with that shift in winds we may see some improvement warming up but no real hot weather coming in the forecast also no rain which is something we really could use